This is it. Thanks, amigo. Hey, you like the mutton chops? Bringing them back. There she is. Hi there. I'm George Clooney. Mm -hmm. Here's your Guinness. Guinness? That's my favorite. Mine too. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart that you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I've tried so not to give in. I've said to myself this affair never will go so well. But why should I try to resist? She's the first girl I've ever loved, Stan. And when she comes over tonight, I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna give her my heart completely. And if she rejects it, it'll kill me. Who could reject you, amigo? Hey, I, I ever tell you about the time I nailed Roseanne Barr? Yeah, buddy. You did. Tonight is the night. Let's wish Francine good luck in the final step of her obsessive endeavor to destroy another human being! <laughs> Finally, it's over. No more pretending I like that smug jackass. You were great, honey. Ugh, and you can finally get rid of those hideous mutton chops. I think I'll go shave them off right now. Francine, I have a surprise for you. I just had hidden cameras installed in Clooney's suite. That way, you'll always have video of him weeping like a little girl. Petkoff! Wait, there is someone at Clooney's door. Stan, what's he doing there? Clooney-Tang, I love you too much to let this happen. Francine's a fraud. <gasps> She's a housewife from Virginia, out to hurt you. Look! Oh my god. I can't believe it. I almost had my heart broken. But you saved me. Hey, rose before hose. Honey, I'm back! Turns out we didn't have any shaving cream, so I took a tour of the Prague Shaving Cream Factory, figuring I'd get a free sample at the end, but I didn't. That was a wild goose chase. Oh, and I was thinking, when you confront Clooney tonight, don't be surprised if he doesn't cry. I mean, he is an actor. Rose before hose. Rose before hose. Rose before hose. Rose before hose. Rose no. before hose. Honey, I, I can explain. It's not how it looks. Damn it, you got him all wrong, Francine. He's the greatest guy in the world. He's taken me to his villa on Lake Como. I didn't mean to fall under his spell. I'm only human. Ah, ah, I'm only human. Ah! My chop! You betrayed me, Stan. And since now, I'll never be able to break Clooney's heart. I must kill him. No! <laughs> Let me go, Stan! Sorry, Francine, you need to cool down. And then tomorrow, I'm shipping you back to the States. In the meantime, I'm gonna go meet George. He's at a mountaintop spa trying to clear his head of this crazy chick. Oh, I mean you. <laughs> <laughs>